check it out. Monica here with King's Titan Homestead and today I'm at a bee removal in Summerhaven. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. The bees have decided to make a home in this cabin and they're going in and out of, they tried to block the mesh um, right here underneath the door um, so that the workers could actually work. Um, I'm gonna go inside with my thermal imager and see if I can't see them from the inside drywall. Okay, so I saw um, a little bit of a heat signature, not much, but a little bit, right about even with where that flaw is in um, that piece of wood right there. And what's really cool is that the contractor was able to leave me <laughs> this awesome um, piece of equipment here, a scaffold, um, so that I could just jump on this and do the work right there. Um, I can turn the light off and on, and somewhere, right, oop, right there's my electric for my vacuum. So I'm gonna get all set up and get this started. For some odd reason, well, I probably can figure out no volunteers to help me today with my bee removal. Most of the time I actually do get volunteers because people like to learn and see um, bees in a kind of a, a native uh, way, you know, just a, a feral way that they actually create their own hives. And I couldn't get anybody to help me today. And it's because literally this was a two hour drive for me to get here. Um, for some odd reason, they just couldn't get any other beekeepers up here um, to do the work and I'm excited to see, um, what they bees have been doing. They, uh, think that they've been here for about a month. So to wrap up the um, removal, um, so Summerhaven is in the Catalina Mountains um, that are just on the like the north side of Tucson. And I was literally at 8,000 feet elevation, the highest removal I've ever done so far. And so um, it was pretty unique, it, uh, interesting place, Glad I didn't take my bee truck. Um, not much, not much area up there to turn around. Everything's kind of tight. Um, had some difficulty finding um, the cabin, um, but for the most part, everything worked out great. And in fact, got the queen. And um, so yeah, and that was it. All done. Oh, one last thing. It's like 20 degrees cooler up there. I mean, significantly cooler up there. And because of that, and because it's in such close proximity to Tucson, to the town, their city, um, it's a huge tourist place. That's, I literally had never been there before. My first time in 26 years of living in Tucson, um, I had never been on Mount Lemon. Um, never been up to Summerhaven. It's really a neat place to go and check it out. Um, there was a really unique um, stone outcropping called Voodoo Point or something like that. Pretty cool. And um, they have Windy Point, which overlooks Tucson. And the city lights at night was really gorgeous. I was going to stop and take um, a few pictures, but there was people there. And get this, it was storming. It was storming and dark when I was coming out. And it literally felt like I was in the clouds. There was so much fog. It was crazy. It was a very scary kind of white knuckle ride home um, off the mountain. It literally, it, it's a good ways up there. So, um, but it's worth the travel. If you come to Tucson and, you, and you've never been up in the mountains before, I'd, 
would go check it out. And with that, that's some more thunder. And uh, we've already had a quarter inch of rain at my place. I'm all excited about some more rain. Sounds like there's some more coming and I'm gonna head inside.